All right, hi everybody. We are Zakai, Thomas, Jack, and Isabel, and we are going to be presenting on the National Institute of Social Media's marketing plan and creative brief. So we're gonna start off by giving a little background on why exactly the National Institute of Social Media has to offer to pretend, what they have to offer to potential clients and hopefully gain a little bit of a clear picture on where they stand in the current market. The National Institute of Social Media is a well-established and reputable organization whose main goal is to provide education and certification in social media to people across all fields, from business, business professionals to students to companies and other organizations. The products that are offered by NISM give the products offered by NISM give consumers the ability to attend webinars, training, and other courses to enhance their knowledge and proficiency with various aspects of social media. This is increasingly important in today's world with the reality that successful social media usage and branding is an absolutely massive sector in business operations today. And it isn't a skill that is always taught to people, whether it's because of generational gaps or the fact that it's not thought of something that can be traditionally taught in a classroom setting. So let's try to paint a picture of where the National Institute of Social Media stands within the market for social media training and education. They have the advantage of being one of the first companies to offer certifications in the field, and they've grown over time to become one of the most reliable and reputable sources in the industry. Because social media has evolved to become one of the most powerful tools that companies and individuals can use for marketing, there's been a concurrent surge in demand for people who have the skills to use it successfully. So the need for education has also increased incredibly over the years. And let's face it, the need for social media proficiency is almost as necessary as anything else for people to include on their resumes. And that leads to a lot of people searching for where they can learn the skills. And this presents us with one of the main goals for the Social Media Institute, which is how do they differentiate themselves from other services, including free ones like HubSpot and Hootsuite? And how do you make yourself stand out in a market that it has the potential to become saturated? This, of course, leads us to the main objectives and goals that we have for NISM. We really aim to market the benefits of the social media strategist certification to a really key demographic that we will be discussed discuss in a minute. And we also want to prove why the National Institute of Social Media is one of the most credible resources for people in the industry and establish why the products they offer are some of the most valuable on the market today. Now that we have all the background information set, we're gonna get on to the marketing strategy. First up, we have the value proposition. So the headline that we have for NISM is, pursuing that next career requires all the right pieces. We've got those pieces. We wanted to focus on the value that NISM brings in terms of career advancement to professionals and also focus on providing that value to individuals in a career transition. For the marketing objectives, we have three for this advertising campaign. The first is to increase brand awareness to new customers about the NISM brand. Second is to increase sales of the social media strategist certification. And third is to reduce consumer resistance to a career transition and or pursuing the NISM certification process. Our target market for this campaign is 25 to 35 age professionals in a career transition who have a bachelor's degree in business, little to no experience in social media marketing. They're in an active job search, so they're frequently checking LinkedIn, have never visited the NISM website before, and they use Instagram and Twitter as their main forms of social media. Our strategy to target this market is mainly gonna be focused on LinkedIn. So the type of LinkedIn paid advertising that we're interested in is sponsored content with the use of single image ads. Uh, so this sponsored content shows up directly in our target markets LinkedIn feed. And then some supplemental areas of paid advertising to consider are Instagram and Twitter. Then moving on to branding perception, we created this word cloud and these words mainly come from the testimonials on the NISM website. 
And so what we noticed, not only were there words like credibility, legitimacy, um, really focusing on the professionalism of the NISM brand, but also we noticed um, other words more focused on the community of NISM. So um, looking at that supportive, inviting nature of the brand, we wanted to make sure that we incorporate both those sides of the brand in our um, ad campaign. So now moving on to the creative brief, we have the creative brief over here on the right, and we have some key points that we wanna to touch on from this brief. First, why are we advertising? We are advertising to drive the sale of the social media strategist certification to new individuals using the positioning of the missing piece on professional's resume. What do we want consumers to do? We want consumers to get certified and think of NISM in a category of its own. We want consumers to know that NISM is the social media certification that will elevate the resume and communicate social media knowledge to employers. The tone for this uh, campaign uh, is really rooted from that branding perception. So think inclusive, inviting, friendly, but still professional. And then finally, the main message of this campaign NISM can help you find that missing piece on your resume that you've been looking for to demonstrate social media knowledge. And there is a sense of urgency to get certified now. So now that we have the creative brief outlined, uh, Thomas is going to present our advertising campaign. So now I'm gonna talk about the advertising campaigns that we created in response to the research we did on the market. For the advertisements, we decided to go with a puzzle theme. Thinking The thinking behind the puzzle theme is to target the positioning of NISM in the consumer's mind. So we want them to think that getting certified for social media will lead to improvements in their career or will open up opportunities that would have been much more difficult to attain before. So this is our hero campaign. We decided that the most professional and clean looking ad would be our hero campaign. The intent is very forward with this message that NASM has what people need to move their career forward. The person in the suit holding the puzzle pieces in a way that they're about to put them together is meant to send the message that this is what you will be able to do with what NISM provides. We also put the certification badge in the middle of this ad to show more of a concrete example of what the certification is or looks like. As you can see in this sub campaign, like the others that will follow, it follows the puzzle piece theme. So for this sub campaign, we decided to make it a little more simple and focused on the idea of calling the consumer to action. We do so by instructing them to find the missing piece on their resume and giving the solution of getting certified with NISM. For this sub campaign, we went with a less forceful approach. We use the idea that NISM can assist in helping you professionally, and that way of helping is by providing certification in social media. For our final sub campaign, we are using the idea of providing a solution for the consumer's needs. In this case, the need is to find that missing piece, which is implied to be the certification. Overall, the goal of these advertisements is to spread awareness of the solutions that NISM can provide. The above uh, pictures are the uh, promotion examples uh, we applied to the accounts um, of our possible um, distribution. Uh, we have these two illustrations above with uh, LinkedIn and Twitter. To, uh, moving on to marketing mix, um, expanding the um, idea of the missing piece um, with our hero campaign and sub campaigns, we expect to deliver them through new posts on social medias, applying background pictures with new campaigns and highlights the headlines and slogans. We plan to distribute the campaigns with three levels. First, through general social networking services, including LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, NISM has accounts with uh, a fair number of followers. 
We also propose to explore new platforms of social media services, such as TikTok or Instagram. The second level of the distribution is through education organizations networks. As NISM has a variety of partnership with educational institutions, Um, the campaign can be distributed to targeted populations. Finally, with the distribution to employment related website, we can deliver our campaign to consumers who are looking for employment. We believe a portion of our target population visits these websites regularly as they are seeking for employment. Keep key performance indicators. Um, based on our, our research, um, the current social media promotion, we conclude that NISM has a moderate amount of exposure to consumers on the multiple social medias. The website's activities were below the current needs of expansion. Um, website activities are important for NISM to increase in its sales and other goals. Um, thus, we concluded um, increase in new users to the official website and 25% increase in sales as our key performance indicators. Um, in addition, we expect a um, increase in followers of the social media accounts um, and we, a number of uh, followers we expect is um, 1,500 people. Um, in the closing summary, um, when the current marketing objective is achieved, we expect further increase in website activities, uh, which may include expansion to different locations over the United States and even internationally.